Hello guys, hope you're doing well as always and welcome back to another Match Day vlog. Today me and my dad are going to Cambridge to watch them take on Exeter. I'm looking forward to it. One thing's for sure, I'm going to need to layer up because it's going to be freezing. But we will see you after the montage. Right, so we are in Cambridge. We've had a little drive around trying to find somewhere to park and have a walk around. Couldn't find anywhere. Uh, what's driving like in Cambridge? Not impressive. <laughs> Cambridge, you need to sort your charging points out. You have no charging points and the few charging points you do have are not working. Useless. So not a good start. <laughs> so not a great start. Hopefully the football will be a little bit better. Bit of controversy with the extra game. Their replay had to be replayed. Where are they in League 2 at the moment? Wait, who's in what? I don't know. Extra in League 2. I think they're third. Cambridge are in League 1. And they're sort of middle to bottom. So it should be a pretty competitive fixture. Uh, if you had to go for a score prediction, what would your early score prediction be? Given the way today's going so far, 0-0. <laughs> I'm going to be a bit more optimistic and I'm going to go for I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw. I think we're going to see goals, but I don't know. Can't really pick a winner. I don't know enough about the teams to say who's going to win. So, uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. But Wes Houlihan plays for Cambridge. I'm looking forward to seeing some top bin specials. Just one more thing. The way today's going, we've got uh, 70 miles left of charge. I don't think we're making it home. <laughs> Fingers crossed, guys. So we are at the ground and, whoa, we've gone for a beer, haven't we? Can, we have gone for a beer. Can we see what drink you've got? Lovely, oh. lo lovely brown beer. It's, a, it's hot. It's a cup of tea. A hot beer. That's a cup of tea, I've, I've got a coffee. They haven't got a bar. They haven't got a bar. Well, they have a bar, but it's probably the world's oh. only bar that doesn't do beer. So, yes, it's, um, what's it called? Aunt Sally's bar or something. God like knows. Uh, essentially, this has been <laughs> pretty not the most successful <laughs> so far. No. But, um, Hopefully, the football is a bit better. Yeah. Is all we can hope for at this point. It's a nice sort of traditional football ground, which you know you can't complain about. It's always nice. Nice, nice uh, sort of family feel to it. Yeah. Can you give it that. Yeah, it's nice. But we're just going to hope for a better game than a day that we've had so far. It's all we can hope for. I've never seen this before, but behind the goal there is a massive load of space. Not really sure why. So you see the pitch ends, and you've just got a load of grass behind it, which is very weird. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome onto the field of Exeter City and Cambridge United. Here's number three, Jack Arnold, Tracy, and a good turnout for the Cambridge fans. <laughs> Underway. Penalty given, was it a penalty in your opinion? In my opinion, yes. I haven't yeah. seen the replay. But, I've seen uh, the replay. It looked pretty stonewall to me. Yeah, it looked pretty clear cut, but we'll have a look in post production. Exeter with a chance to take the lead from the penalty spot. They've done it. One nil to Exeter. I think the rest had a stinker there. 
Extra really starting to ask questions of the Cambridge defence. It feels like it's only going to be a matter of time before they nick a goal, potentially before half time. Minimum of two minutes at a time. That's two minutes at a time. Right, half time and it is Exeter 1, Cambridge 1. What have you made of the first half so far? Okay, very good. Excellent match. Yeah, good. Um, much better than I thought it was going to be. Tw first 15, 20 minutes, Exeter definitely uh, the better side. Then um, Cambridge, Cambridge uh, scored and, and uh, came into it. And it was really, match really took off from then. And then the last what, five, 10 minutes, Exeter were the better side, I think, again. Yeah. So mainly just Exeter edged, edged the, the, the half. Yeah, I agree. To be honest, there's not much else to say. It was a good game. I mean, considering the, the journey that we've had here and the series of events that actually got us here, it's nice that we've had a good game of football. I just hope it carries on for the second half. Uh, what did you make of the pillage, Shell? I think it was a penalty. I think um, the uh, attacker's ankle was caught. Yes. Yeah, we've had another look and uh, we've done some zoom in, we've done some slow mo. Uh, I, think it, I don't think the ref was right, but yeah, good half. Hoping for more of the same in the second half. Let's go. One thing that is for sure is it is cold. Your nil-nil prediction is out the window. My 2-2-1 is still on, but I'm going to give you a second chance. What do you think the score's going to be? Nil-nil. Brilliant. Oh, sorry, 1-1. Uh, Back underway. Oh, not quite. Anyway, that was a poor shot. Extra forcing to make the substitutions when their players are injured. Delay the substitution. Substitution has finally been made. Not going to have to be well with the Cambridge fans. Stop it. Words nearly an own goal. Good chance there for Cambridge. I'll be honest, I think we've jinxed it because this second half has been shit so far. Yeah. Not been particularly interesting. Yeah, boring, sorry. Cambridge. See if they can make a difference in the last 10 minutes. Before you can leave. Thank you. Oh, get away. Yeah. Cannot believe he's missed that. That's probably the chance of the second half. 
not going to get many better than that with 10 minutes left. I think it's going to be 1-1. One, one. He's got to back his linesman. And it's a goal! It stands! Cambridge has stolen it in the last minute! Absolute scene. Look at the limbs over there. Insane. The ref overturned his linesman, gave the goal, the Cambridge are going through to the next round of the FA Cup. Yellow card for the extra manager as well, for his reaction to all of that. Back underway for the last couple of minutes, can Exeter reply? Centre half is making way for a striker. Exeter are trying to do everything they can to get a goal and making their last substitution. Seven minutes of added time, there's time for Exeter to get back into this game. Can Cambridge hold on? Come up for the corner. It's now or never. They've now got an open goal. But they've lost the ball. Scramble outside the penalty area. Still time. To play ball through. Oh! 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 Away. Exeter have got a corner. This is the last chance of the game. And the goalkeeper's coming up, but it's been taken short. Oh! And that's a goal kick, that's surely it. going to be a boring second half but just when you think it's over there's another twist and another turn do you know what match of the season I'm, oh. call, I'm calling it I'm calling it Matthews to seal the win it's safe that is it it doesn't matter Cambridge have won Right guys, so that is the end of our Cambridge adventure. How did you find Cambridge as a place first? Enough said. <laughs> it was right, so it looked nice, like when we were driving around. Uh, I think Cambridge is the type of place you go there, you get there, you drive around a bit, you find out you can't park and then you go home again. 
<laughs> Luckily, we did have a football match to go to as well. Yeah, the football match was great. It was great. Actually, it, was very good. it made up for it. It made it a worthwhile day. So thank you for that, Cambridge. Yeah, 100%. I think the second half was a little bit long, but the last 10 minutes were brilliant. Like, the last amazing. 10 amazing. Yeah, it, last made it, the, really it actually made it the best match of the season that we've seen so far. Do you think? Yeah. Fair enough. I, I, for me, Mansfield still tops that, but... It was very good. I'd I say think there was more second. highlights in today's match, which we'll probably find at the end of this, yeah. than there was in any of the matches we've seen so far. Oh, there you go. If you've watched both of the vlogs, let me know down below which one. Which game do you think was the most entertaining? But with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year. Have you subscribed? Yes, of course I have. We'll take his word for it. <laughs> Big Greg subscribed, so subscribe. Thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Peace and love.